Dover Air Force Base, Delaware. Home to many of the US Air Force's 52-strong fleet of Super Galaxy C-5M cargo planes. At 75 meters long, 68 meters wide and 20 meters tall, it's the largest transport aircraft in the US military arsenal. This was born out of a time when the Army's tanks and machinery had outgrown the planes they needed to transport them around the world. They needed a bigger plane. And they got one. It holds more world records for carrying heavy loads than any other aircraft in history. It's pretty much anything the military needs can fit in there. It's magnificent. But this isn't just the story of a giant plane. This is the story of how the design of one aircraft led to a revolution in global aviation. I'm being given the rare privilege of taking this convoy on a special training flight. Young pilots who practice walking in slow motion every day are being taught the unique intricacies of flying the Super Galaxy by seasoned elite pilot Major Patterson Hill. Thanks for letting me come and ride on your enormous aeroplane. Is this just a soundtrack to your life? I can't hear you. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's so loud. Your whole lives are lived with this racket. It's good. I'll leave you with uh, the looting. OK, looting. Are we going to get all my stuff on there? Absolutely. First, we got to get off the uh, forklift that's on board. One of the Super Galaxy's innovations is that instead of having just a cargo hatch at the rear, its nose opens too. How much does this weigh? This weighs 3.3 tons. Oh, there he goes. It's like a whale yawning. Now that it's empty, let's see the legendary cargo hold. There it is. This is what this whole aircraft is about. You could fit 11 blue whales in here, or 4,800 llamas, or 25 million ping pong balls. What I'm saying is, it's huge. It's basically a flying aircraft hangar. It's time to get my convoy on board. But such a massive load can't just be placed randomly in the cargo hold. They know it'll fit in. It's where do you put it? Where does this weight sit? How does that affect the centre of gravity, the balance of the aeroplane? With vehicles weighing different amounts, the distribution of weight on the plane must be precise. It's a lot like balancing a seesaw. Too much weight at the front or back and the plane will be very difficult or worse, impossible to fly. The fulcrum of a perfectly balanced plane is called the center of gravity. And it's different for every load. It's more than just clever packing. It's engineering, line, 